Hey friends, thanks for being here at Non-Toxic Home. I'm so glad you're here. I'm coming at you from our non-toxic home. Shocker, shocker, right? Today I want to talk to you about why we built a healthy home instead of remodeling an existing structure. Interesting question, right? I've actually had a few people ask me that. The answer is actually relatively simple. Mold. I looked so hard to find a building that didn't have mold in it, friends. I looked so hard. I eliminated thousands and thousands and thousands of houses online. I looked in an area that was nine counties large, I believe. I want to say one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, nine counties large. So quite a few potential options. The market wasn't particularly tight. There were a lot of houses on the market at that time. So I should have been able to find a house that didn't have mold or water damage. I couldn't, except there were two new homes, both log cabins that did not have water damage or mold. However, they had building defects that if there wasn't already existing hidden mold, there would be mold and water damage later due to the multiple building errors. Terrible, right? These were $300,000 buildings. Well, there was also five acres that came with it as well. But still, $300,000 for a new home that's going to make you sick eventually? Eek! No, no thanks, hard pass. <laughs> I don't think so. Right, so as far as ruling uh, houses out online, most of the houses I ruled out just by looking at the pictures posted online on the on the realtor websites. If you know what to look for, then you can find lots of building errors very quickly. If you're someone like myself who has a lot of experience in looking at building errors and seeing moisture intrusion, whew, it's difficult to go anywhere. Not that I go anywhere, but it's difficult to drive down the road and see that almost every building has building errors and mold as a result. I mean, there has to be mold. Some you can see externally. Most you can't, but you can see a lot of building errors allowing for moisture intrusion. Now, one of the ways that I learned myself without formal instruction as to identifying moisture intrusion risk factors was from taking inspection courses online. I think it was about $50 for all of the inspection courses I could take in one month. And I didn't have to finish. I actually took two months worth and it was invaluable. I was able to rule out thousands of homes online just based on that itself. Now, when it came to looking for a house in person, we did end up narrowing down, or more accurately, I did end up narrowing down the buildings to about 50 over the course of about six months. And we did go in person to about 50 buildings, 50 homes. <sighs> Actually, my husband only went to a handful. I went to the rest, the other 45. And they all had mold, friends. They all had mold, except for those two new ones, which will have mold if they don't already have hidden mold. That's pretty sad, right? That's terrible. That is a huge indication of an epidemic problem. No wonder everyone's sick, right? Of course, it's not always mold. Mold can cause a lot of problems, but it's not always mold. Do all buildings have mold? No. Do most? Absolutely. Absolutely. Now there was one house that we did end up putting an offer in on because from what everything that I could see, I didn't see any mold. I felt okay in the house. I felt fine actually. Felt a little bit weird in the basement, um, but it was kind of dark. So I thought maybe that was why. I don't know. I don't remember that well. <laughs> so we had an inspection and we had a wonderful inspector. I wish I could clone him because he was so fantastic. However, the day of it, it was very clear from God that that was not the house for us. 
it downpoured and thundered and lightning crashed all around the house. Rainwater gushed into the basement. The toilet backed up during the inspection. It was an absolute nightmare. It was like that old Tom Hanks movie, um, The Money Pit, except thank goodness we didn't buy it, right? <laughs> wow. Um, so we did end up finding mold in one room that I wasn't able to access the two or three times that I'd already been there, which, um, you know, if I had been able to access it before, I would have been able to see it, but that's why you do an inspection, right? That's why you always have your offers contingent upon an, a properly conducted inspection or inspections. And we were very clear um, about multiple inspections. And fortunately, we had a very skilled inspector. He was absolutely fantastic, like I said already. So we did end up, you know, almost buying one house that was ended up not being an option. But <laughs> the the fact of the matter is that we really, the only reason we didn't remodel is because we couldn't find a house to remodel. And mold remediation is an option, of course. I hear you out there thinking that and saying that out loud. Of course, there are mold remediation companies. Of course, some people do it themselves. Don't do it yourself, please. No. And also mold remediation companies, a lot of them are not so good. My husband interviewed with a handful of them and communicated with a number of them online that actually I communicated with them <laughs> and asked them a few pointed questions that quickly ruled them out as far as their responses go because it was clear that they did not address the root cause of mold. They just made it look pretty, made it not stink and left and then they would naturally have repeat customers Good business model, right? You want repeat business <sighs> because the mold would come back since they didn't address the root cause, which is either condensation or moisture intrusion or leaks in plumbing. You, If there is no moisture, you don't have mold. Pretty simple, right? Well, now because of the level at which I am these days, as far as sensitivity goes, we wouldn't have taken on a remodel we would have just built, even if we had found a house that was mold safe. I hope this has cleared up some of the information out there about uh, remodeling older houses or remodeling houses period and making them into a non-toxic home because the fact of the matter is that remediation often doesn't work and it often makes people sicker. It often makes the building have more problems because the root cause isn't addressed. Thanks so much for being here. If you found this helpful, please give me a like down below. Please subscribe and share in your uh, preferred groups. Share with like-minded friends. Thanks for being here again. Be sure to check out our website and subscribe to the weekly newsletter. Many blessings. Have a beautiful day.